We, th we think the most advanced uh, cell in the world here at Giga Texas. Tesla is preparing for 75,000 Model Y vehicles to arrive from Giga Texas in the first quarter of 2023. It confirmed that this ramp up is happening, with Giga Factory Texas now producing 3,000 Model Y vehicles per week. Giga Texas is already huge and stands to be incredibly massive, but it seems that the company is not going to stop expanding or upgrading its factories anytime soon. So how is Elon Musk planning to expand this moneymaker in 2023? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. And, uh, we're, we're aiming just with the Model Y program alone uh, to get to half a million units a year. Tesla is in a massive expansion phase as it tries to ramp up production globally. Public filings have shown that the company is planning to complete more construction work at its enormous gigafactory in Texas. So how's the construction coming along? According to documents submitted to the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, construction will start on December 27th of 2022 for a ground up and complete interior finish out of the EV manufacturing facility. Tesla plans to further gain a foothold along the State Highway 130 corridor near Austin with the addition of infrastructure at its Giga Texas facility. Construction on the new project at 1 Tesla Road is expected to begin next week. The project covers 174,979 square feet and will cost $58 million based on the value submitted with the permit. The estimated date of completion is March 13th of 2023. To facilitate the delivery of Model Y, how has Elon Musk improved the route? Since earlier this summer, Tesla has been using the rail yard located at the RCR Taylor Logistics Park, about 40 minutes northeast of Giga, Texas, to send off newly built cars to various areas of the US by train. Tesla has been loading its new Model Ys onto the trains via two rail sidings. That was until recently when Tesla began work to add four new rail sidings, tripling the capacity from two to six. Work is progressing quickly and most of the new tracks have been already laid, based off of the most recent flyover by a drone operator that's been tracking the progress of the construction. As you can see in this video, the tracks are almost complete and ready to join the main line. Based on the increased activity at Giga Texas and the work on their rail yard to increase its capacity, it looks like Giga Texas could see a big ramp in production in the coming year. But does this Giga factory have any other projects? The EV maker has become the largest manufacturer in Central Texas. It already employs about 10,000 people at the existing site. However, this number is only a part of the total of those who will ultimately be employed by Tesla there. Musk announced in December of 2021 that Tesla would invest more than $10 billion in the factory, creating at least 20,000 direct and indirect jobs. Meanwhile, Tesla submitted a site plan in October for a logistics facility and parking lots, located at 11901 Half Tesla Road, west of State Highway 130. The site is about 239 acres. Elon Musk also plans to build a solar canopy over this parking lot. Musk said that with solar parking structures, your business can provide numerous benefits to everyone who parks on your premises. For customers and employees, a solar canopy provides shade and coolness for their parked vehicles, which can translate into reduced AC and fuel consumption. For businesses, the energy generated by these solar canopies often results in drastically reduced energy bills. Moreover, the cooling effect of solar parking structures is twofold. First, vehicles are protected from the impact of the sun when parked beneath a solar canopy. This protects cars and trucks from direct contact with the sun's rays on hot, sunny days. For drivers, the effects of this shielding are very comforting, as it leaves cars cooler throughout the time that customers and employees leave their cars parked under the covers. According to a study, this parking usage can reduce a vehicle's fuel economy by 25%, and much of this consumption occurs immediately after a driver re-enters a hot, parked car. The idea of the solar parking lot's maximum potential is very feasible, and we hope Musk will have it implemented in 2023. More production means more waste is generated. So how then will Tesla handle this? 
Tesla plans to develop on a site west of State Highway 130, where it also plans to set up a wastewater interceptor. A wastewater interceptor collects wastewater from extensive facilities like Giga Texas and channels it to a treatment plant to avoid environmental pollution. Tesla likely tapped H2O Innovation last year to design two reverse osmosis filtration systems to handle 2,200 cubic meters of water per day to aid wastewater reuse. H2O Innovation is a leader in customized water and wastewater treatment solutions using membrane technologies. But what about Tesla's energy business in Giga Texas? After gaining experience Experience through its virtual power plants or VPPs, Tesla is taking things a step further with the launch of Tesla Electric. It's an electric plan exclusively offered in parts of Texas where retail choice is available like Houston and Dallas. The product turns Tesla into a retail electric provider in the Lone Star State and allows Powerwall owners to sell some of their excess electricity back to the grid, with Tesla as the go-between. Crucially, this product is invite only. If you own one of Tesla's big batteries and have a home in a deregulated part of Texas, you'll see a banner appear on your Powerwall home page in the Tesla app, Tesla said. This looks closer to what Musk described when he said he wanted Tesla Energy to become a distributed global utility that could outgrow the automotive business. It's starting with Texas, but I assume that Tesla is going to want to expand this product everywhere that Powerwall is available. In short, Tesla has always said that the focus of the production teams will shift to Cybertruck once Model Y reaches volume production at Gigafactory Texas. On the original Giga Texas site, Tesla has taken deliveries of parts of the first Gigapress 9000T as it prepares to manufacture the long-awaited Cybertruck. Tesla has been able to ramp up electric vehicle programs to large volumes better than any other automaker. Therefore, there's still a chance for the Cybertruck to be THE dominant electric pickup truck within a short period of time, which could be about 12 to 18 months. How do you feel about this update from Giga Texas? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank Thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and until the next time, take care and be safe.